Buffy's beginnings are enveloped in mystery and lore. There are many legends about its origin, but the most commonly accepted is the Ethiopian legend. The story goes that Kaldi, the goat herder, discovered coffee in the 9th century when he noticed that after eating the berries from a certain tree, his goats became so energetic that they did not want to sleep at night. Kaldi reported his findings to the abbot of the local monastery, who made a drink with the berries and found that it kept him alert through the long hours of evening prayer. The abbot shared his discovery and knowledge of the energizing berries began to spread. That's why Ethiopia is called the motherland of coffee. The modern version of roasted coffee originated in Arabia in the 13th century. By parching and boiling the coffee beans, the Arabs were able to corner the market on coffee crops. By the 15th century, coffee was being grown in the Yemeni district of Arabia, and by the 16th century, it was known in Persia, Egypt, Syria, and Turkey. The vibrant trade between the Republic of Venice and the people of North Africa brought a large variety of goods, including coffee, to this leading European port. Venetian merchants introduced coffee drinking to the wealthy in Venice. In this way, coffee was introduced to the mainland of Europe. The first European coffee house was opened in Venice in 1645. Soon, coffee shops started opening when coffee spread and became the drink of the intellectuals, of social gatherings, even of lovers as plates of chocolate and coffee were considered a romantic gift. Beer and wine began to be replaced by coffee as the common breakfast drink beverages of the time. Those who drank coffee began the day alert and energized. In 1714, the mayor of Amsterdam presented a gift of a young coffee plant to King Louis XIV of France. The king ordered it to be planted in the Royal Botanical Garden in Paris. In 1723, a young naval officer, Gabriel de Clou, obtained a seedling from the king's plant. Despite a challenging voyage, complete with horrendous weather, a saboteur who tried to destroy the seedling and a pirate attack, he managed to transport it safely to Martinique. This seedling was the parent of all coffee trees throughout the Caribbean, South and Central America. Missionaries and travelers, traders and colonists continued to carry coffee seeds to the new lands, and coffee trees were planted worldwide. By the end of the 18th century, coffee had become one of the world's most profitable export crops. In what is known today as the United States, the coffee drink was not really popular until the Boston Tea Party of 1773, when making the switch from tea to coffee became something of a patriotic duty. The Civil War and other conflicts that followed also helped to increase coffee consumption as soldiers relied on the caffeine for a boost of energy. Brazil dominated world production, exporting more coffee than the rest of the world combined from 1850 to 1950. The period since 1950 saw the widening of the playing field due to the emergence of several other major producers, notably Colombia, Ivory Coast, Ethiopia, and most recently, Vietnam, which became the second largest producer in 1999. However, Colombia remains the largest worldwide producer of smooth coffee. It is important to point out that Colombian coffee is famous around the world because of its mellow flavor, being recognized as the best smooth coffee in the world. At the beginning of the 21st century, an organization named Fair Trade emerged. The idea of fair trade is to pay the farmers more money so the farmers can have better lives. Most fair trade's farmers come from Latin America. Today, the grassroots coffee movement continues to grow with the increase of small independently owned cafes boasting sustainable, locally roasted, fair trade beans. Coffee has become an artistic trade that is valued for its complexity of flavors and terroir, much like wine.